students welcome to my channel topic of this video is introduction to image processing this is the third video on this topic in this video i am going to discuss components or elements of an image processing system now let us start this is a block diagram of components or elements of an image processing system and you can see the interaction between the modules and i am going to discuss each sub block in detail from next slide first is image sensor two elements are required to acquire a digital image that is nothing but image sensor and digitizer image sensor is a device that converts optical image into electrical signal it is a physical device that is sensitive to energy radiated by the object that we want to capture it is mostly used in cameras camera modules and other imaging devices today most digital still cameras used either ccd that is charge coupled devices or CMOS that is complementary metal oxide semiconductor sensor both types of sensor accomplish the same task of capturing the optical light and convert to the electrical signal each cell of ccd image sensor is an analog device when light strikes the chip it is held as a small electrical charge in each photo sensor so as the size of the photo sensor is large so the capacity or the image becomes more quality the charges are converted to voltage one pixel at a time as they are ready from the chip now this sensor only converts optical light into the electrical light as our input is always should be in digital format so we require digitizer which converts the electrical signal into the digital signal that is nothing but the digital form specialized image processing hardware usually consists of the digitizer that we already used in previous step so it comes in the specialized image processing hardware plus hardware that performs other primitive operations such as arithmetic logic unit which performs the arithmetic and logical operation in parallel on entire image for example al used used in averaging image for noise reduction this type of hardware sometimes is called front end subsystem and its most distinguished characteristics is speed this unit performs a function that require fast data throughput that the typical main computer cannot handle so for example we are using specialized image processing hardware for variety type of purpose before displaying on the screen for example if you want to take the averaging then digitization then next is if we want to perform the scaling and other type of operation before displaying on the screen third is a computer the computer is an image processing system is a general purpose computer and can can range from pc to super computer in dedicated application sometimes specially designed computers are used to achieve the required level of performance softwares softwares which include image processing specialized model to perform the specific task it is algorithm that runs on our hardware to achieve the specific results this software can be our own design algorithm or we can just be an end user so for example using photoshop or corel draw or paint we can uh, modify the existing captured image mass storage there are the three different types of digital storage that are available for digital image processing application short term storage online storage and archival storage short term storage for relatively fast operation during the processing one method of providing the short term storage is a computer memory another is by specialized board called frame buffer that stores one or more images and can be accessed rapidly it allows virtually instantaneous image zoom as well as scroll and pan while at the time of display so when we are displaying the video at that time short term storage is very much important second is online storage online storage generally takes the form of magnetic disk and optical storage media the key factors characterizing characterizing the online storage is a frequent access to the stored data third is the archival storage for infrequent access and it is characterized by massive storage requirement next is hard copy devices used for recording images include laser printer film cameras it sensitive devices inject and digital units such as optical and cd rom disc image displays a display device is output device for presentation of information in visual when the input information is supplied as an electrical signal then display is called electronic display common application for electronics visual display are television and computer monitors who display the uncompressed format of the image next is the networking is very much important because rarely in today's world the computer work in a remote it is almost 
uh, or standalone. It is almost a default function in any computer system in use today. Because of the large amount of data inherent in image processing application, the key consideration is image transmission is a B is a bandwidth. In dedicated network, this typical is not problem, but communication with remote sites via internet are not always be efficient. So the two factors comes here that when we are capturing the image, we have to store that image in a compressed format so that we require the less storage as well as during the transmission also we can uh, we can transmit the uncompressed for sorry compressed format of the signal so that uh, we can get the or we can utilize the bandwidth properly so that is all about the components of the image processing system this book is used for the reference Thank you.